episode. Welcome to Transformer Step by Step Bot Shots. Now these guys are an assorted bit of bot, bot shots, not bot bots, but bot shots. Because let uh, let's be honest here, these guys are tiny and uh, they're just assorted because yeah, I mean they're, they're like one step transformations. And uh, if you're wondering why these aren't sorted by like the packs they come with, I lost them. Uh, I lost like half of them. Cause I remember I had an iron hide. I lost him. I think I had a bumblebee. Lost him. Uh, they're all somewhere around my house. I just have no clue where. But uh, let's mention these guys. But before we do, I have some sad news to share with you. The original pencil, pencil version one, if you will, has been lost. Good thing I have another one. So <laughs> this is pencil V two. Uh, this is the pencil V two test. So here's the size compared to the pencil. It's absolutely tiny, and this is the size, the uh, on side length. I know it's absolutely ginormous to a flea, so, because these things are tiny. So let's just get into the individual transformations, and um, I'll explain the gimmick later. So this, uh, while well, you press the front, boom, transforming. That that's it. That's Megatron. Nice little detail on the head and. Yeah, that's literally all you do to transform back is literally just fold them back up. And it's a really good, like, uh, thing. Like, it looks good. I mean, is it too detailed? Like, I mean, no. But, I mean, it's got enough detail. It looks pretty good. Yes, yeah, so I'm going over these in detail. And these are Jetfire. This is Jetfire. Really nice. Like, I really like the back. Uh, the backpack, it looks really nice. Uh, the head detail looks pretty great. Now it's time to see the transformation, and that's it. And that's the robot. I mean, it's not too b good. It's li this is literally the same as before. And and by the way, these guys do not want to stay. Like if you try to un if you try to transform the back, they will explode on you if you like touch them. And this is Acid Storm, or just a clear repaint of Starscream. Uh, this. Really cool. I mean, it's it's clear, so it's not like there's a lot of detail to showing off. Like, it's cool. It's clear. That that's it. Like, if you like clear variants, this is good for you. Even though they're not like they're not sold anywhere though, so I don't know how you would get them. So, yeah. Like, I, I only a few places or garage sales is where I can find them. I have no clue what this character is. That's a transformation. Still no clue who this character is. Uh, like, now I can actually see the jet detail. Oh, it's really cute, right? I mean, I like the colors. That's some great cockpit detail. And it's absolutely tiny. It's so chibi-fied, and I love it. And boom, oh, boom. Let's transform that guy back. And one of the most interesting ones. That, <laughs> uh, I did, uh, I just did that because that just shows how easy, easily this that came off. I don't know if it's been the few years that... It, that I kept it in storage or breaking it or some other factor that led to this, but it is absolutely broken. But uh, let's transform this guy. This is Power Glide, and I really like the detail. Like, he's even got a unique back and a unique head, like this plate and this, like, cool front nose. I mean, that, that's how Power Glide always is, and I just destroyed his main feature. Transformation. There you go. Oh, I, I really love his face. It's one of the most unique faces. Now, if you've been an observant viewer, by the way, you might notice this gigantic block inside of their chests. Just, yeah, only the observant people would see the gigantic blocks that are different from the paint of the entire rest of the figure. So, um, that is part of the gimmick. So, ever heard of rock, paper, scissors? Why is that's not even a question? Like most people, like I don't know anybody who hasn't heard of rock paper scissors. But since you probably heard of rock paper scissors, and for that one person on earth who hasn't, um, it's uh, you play rock, it gets beaten by paper, but it can also crush scissors, and scissors can beat paper, and paper can be cut by scissors, and and paper beats rock. It's just a, it's just a loop right like that, and it's a small thing to see whoever wins. Um, that's what this is, and it's one of the stupid. So I just have a piece of paper here, detailing it. So uh, blaster beats fist, 
beats, but fist beats sword, and sword beats blaster. I have multiple problems with this. <laughs> yes, I, we're only a few minutes into this review, and I am having a problem with the system already. So, like, I mean, rock, paper, scissors, it's a bit nonsensical, just how paper beats rock, like, that, that's, but, I mean, that's it. But when you're going with fighting tactics, l let me just say, unless you drift, how on earth does the sword beat the blaster? Especially with the way you see they start fighting. I mean, the blaster would knock you out before you even got to use the sword. Uh, and fist beat sword. Are you a martial arts master or something? Just fist beat sword. No, I see no problems with two melee weapons coming up against each other. And one being super sharp and giving you an advantage while the other one is your fist. And Blaster Beats Fist, I, I really have no problem with that one. Like, that one, it's pretty self-explanatory how that one works out. Uh, but if you're wondering, what do I mean by that gimmick where a uh, sword would not work against Blaster? Now, take two guys. So, one second. Just say there's two people. I, I'm one person. So, uh, say these two people are against each other. They're hiding them with the back's face. So, while this guy might choose Blaster... And this guy would choose a sword, okay? And then you transform them, and then you, um, uh, there's supposed to be launchers for this, but I don't have any. That's it, uh, and after that, after they transform, where they're supposed to land on their feet, because that's the, how their transformation is supposed to work, but it doesn't work half the time, or most of the time, even. It can't even lift the entire figure up. Uh, don't know if that's age or not. Probably is. Probably worked normally when I first got these things. Uh, you see, Blaster beats Sword. Wait, no, no, no. Sword beats Blaster. <laughs> sword beats Blaster for some reason. So, you win, whoever played this. So, uh, yeah. That's the entire gimmick. That's why this entire thing is like this. And half the time they don't even transform correctly. Oh, this is a horrible representation because all of them just transformed perfectly. But I mean, y y you'll see what I mean. This is like the one time they always work perfectly and that's when I'm trying to prove a point that they don't always work perfectly. <laughs> I'm doing great, how are you? <laughs> I'm trying to prove something, but it isn't showing up. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop the review with this. If you like this video, please do. Hit that like button and subscribe. And, you know, just ram into one of my next videos. And uh, always remember, kids, in a battle on Cybertron, if you come at somebody with a fist, with somebody with a sword, you'll definitely win. Warning, please do not follow this piece of advice. This is a horrible advice. Please do not follow advice from me. Okay, goodbye, guys. Remember, like, subscribe, whatever. Bye.